Hi, it's Alan Gilman, mortgage broker with Dominion Lending. And I just wanted to talk today about um, investors with rental properties. So if you do own multiple rental properties, you may have already had the experience of going into your bank to purchase another rental or to refinance an existing rental and you've, and you've had some pushback. So what's happening a lot is the banks have uh, policies and they're, they're not printed on the website where it's easy to find where if you, a client, have more than, for example, four rental properties, then they're not going to entertain doing a fifth, regardless of whether you've been with the bank forever and you have a great profile and you've always made your payments and your credit is perfect because it comes down to risk. And the way the bank looks at it is very different than the way one might look at it. So from their standpoint, um, they'll push an application back and decline it because they'll say, well, this client um, has such a strong reliance on rental income. What would happen if all of a sudden these tenants weren't paying? Where would the funds come from to make sure we get our mortgage payment? And so the, it, it becomes a very uncomfortable situation. So what we see over and over is um, people that are more successful with a whole portfolio of rental properties are pushed away from the bank um, and they can't get financing, which, which really doesn't make any sense. This solution, or the part solution that we used to have is the, the investor would now purchase property and register it in a holding company. And that worked well. Um, the holding company was a separate legal entity, so as far as the bank was concerned, they're interested in how many properties do you personally own. So if you own four properties personally and you have six more in a holding company, this wasn't a problem. But what's happened, you know, again, since COVID, is the bank now is interested in what's going on in your holding company. Because if you've got a property registered in your holding company, you would have had to personally guarantee it. So now we have to bring, if the bank is aware that there's properties in a holding company, and all it takes for that to happen is for uh, a mortgage on a on a rental property in a holding company to start showing up on your Equifax or TransUnion Credit Bureau, and then the bank is interested. So it has become uh, not a great solution anymore. So people may still want to register in a holding company for taxation benefits, but to help with lending, it doesn't always play out the way we want it to. Um, generally what's happening, and again, this doesn't really make a lot of sense, is because the bank doesn't want um, a successful investment portfolio, we have to approach the B side of the lending uh, industry for those types of deals. So if somebody has you know, 10 rental properties, we go on the B side where they have more of a tolerance uh, for risk, they will charge a higher interest rate in exchange for doing something that the bank doesn't want to do, um, and that's the solution. So, I mean, it doesn't obviously go down well with many people because you're successful. Why should you pay more to get your mortgage financing? The reality is the tremendous success that you have had put, takes you out of the bank bucket in many cases. So we have solutions for those types of situations and I'm constantly dealing with um, this exact scenario with many of our investors. So if you, if you have um, an issue at, at any time, feel free to reach out because we have a lot of workable solutions.